Carl here from Games, Brains and Headbanging Life, GBHBL.com for short. 31 days of Halloween, we continue, or I continue, this trawl through childhood memories, reliving childhood horror, and seeing how it's comparable by today, explaining to you, hopefully, in a concise way, why it had affected me as a child, and why I've taken that through to being an adult, and in some cases still either love the film, more than I did previously, uh, or as least as much, and the odd occasion maybe looking at them and realising they don't hold up. This one is kind of where that sits. I don't necessarily think this one holds up in regard in certain regards. So, you've seen the title, of course, so you know what I'm talking about, is Arachnophobia, which is a, uh, a spider film, basically. Uh, a spider film, spider breeds and goes on a rampage. Lots of little spiders in a all-American town, that kind of thing, starring Jeff Daniels. Kind of played off a lot, like, quite light comedic elements as well here and there but with momentarily, like, dark and twisted sort of things. Now, of course, this is all comparable to your personal feelings on spiders. Of course, if you love them, you're not frightened of them, uncomfortable by them or anything like that, then, you know, a film like this isn't going to have the same effect on you as someone who legitimately suffers from arachnophobia. I am neither. I am not a fan, but I also don't have arachnophobia. I am, I am more scared, weirdly, more scared and uncomfortable around spiders nowadays as an older person than I was when I was younger. But, I ju but I, I'm also not frozen and terrified and stuff like that. I'm just very, very uncomfortable and need someone to kind of kill the spider, that kind of thing. I'd prefer not to do it myself unless I have no choice. So, but that, that's always been kind of a thing for me. And I think it's quite like, so watching a film like this, which obviously utilizes sort of like, very realistic sort of, you know, it's not like eight-legged freaks later on and things like that with CGI spiders that are very, very silly. This is all very, very realistic and done in a way to sort of make you feel uncomfortable. And I think it does a great job of that. I've always had a fascination and an interest with the sort of like deep jungle, Amazon jungle kind of thing where you don't know what's in there and who knows what monstrous things exist. So the idea of like a very large spider... You know, of course, existing out there that's deathly poisonous to us, and then that ended up getting loose in in normal the normal society and breeding and creating lots of little small super poisonous ones that can kill you immediately. It's all very very horrible stuff, and uh, a lot of that kind of plays out in this film. You know, there are some generally scary stuff. Uh, you know, like from like spiders and hair and. Just, you know, putting your slipper on and being bitten by a spider that can kill you almost immediately or at least can cause you to have a heart attack which kills you. Like, there's even, like, the really horrible, horrifying bit at the end where they effectively find a human body, like, the doctor, like, all webbed up. That's terrifying. Um, you know, all of this works or worked when I was a kid. I've had a really, really intense feel to it. As an adult, though, I look at it now and I find it all sometimes a little bit silly, a little bit unbelievable, and weirdly, a little bit boring. I think it's a really, really slow film in that it sometimes takes ages for anything to happen. And it kind of repeats the same cycles over and over again, which is basically stalky, 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 something happens. Oh, finally, there we go. And it cannot always be the most interesting thing. And even sort of when it ramps up at the end, it feels like it should be bigger than it is. So it's not always um, the most exciting. I also think the comedy elements, uh, things that I thought maybe were funnier when I was younger, aren't as funny. Uh, now, you, you've got John Goodman as that exterminator character. It kind of feels like he's there as the comic relief. But it does not really feel like it fits. And there's a, there's a silly music that goes along with it that takes me out of the film. Stuff like this certainly downplays the sort of scary aspect of it. But it doesn't stop it... <coughs> excuse me. Stop it feeling any less real. And I think that's a really interesting aspect of the film. In that it feels real. I am not good with spiders, as I've said. And even now, I think some of my sort of memories... Um, a couple of years ago, overnight, I'd accidentally left my car window slightly open and I guess a spider got in. So I was driving down a motorway, coming back from somewhere. And then, like, I noticed, oh, there's a spider, like, in my rearview mirror. And I thought, oh, okay, it's outside, like, must be clinging onto the back of my rear, like, the rear, the rear window, right? And so I looked again. And I was like, no, hold up a second. This is inside the car. It made a web across my back seats. I was just sitting there in the middle, barely two feet away from me in this middle of this web. 
I'm on a freaking motorway. It's not like I can just pull over. I remember I leapt forward and I said to my wife, I said, like, don't, don't, like, don't acknowledge it. Don't make it. I don't want it running away. The first moment I got to be able to pull that car over, I was out like a shot, getting her to deal with it, that. Just like I remember when I was a kid, doing a berry picking, sort of, set, berry picking. I remember pulling this berry off a tree, off a, a bush. And what I, there's just been this giant spider on the other side of it. And when I say giant, obviously it's not that big because it's not like a giant berry, but a big spider on the other half of it. This is the shit that causes me to be terrified of the damn creepy damn crawlies. So when I watch a film like this, even now, it still has that effect on me. It makes me uncomfortable. But I think what this film done has been, has been done better, better by more modern day films. Um, you know, there's a recent one, a French one I watched last this year. Uh, review on the site. I can't remember what it's called. Infestation or Infested or something like that. That that was that was this, but like grittier and darker and more horrible. And while it utilised CGI, it was still really, really effective. But I can watch that stuff. I can watch films like this. That's the thing. I can still sit down and watch them. Uh, I think as well, a silly thing is like a major reason why maybe this film doesn't hold up as well for me is it's Jeff Daniels. Like, no, dis no, no disrespect to the actor. He's done some phenomenal stuff in the dramatic department as well. But I always sort of see him as a comedic actor. So it's sometimes a little bit hard to like... Do you know what I always think of? I always think of his face when he dies in speed. You know, when he gets blown up in speed. He does this like really terrible... It's like, oh well, oh shucks kind of face. It's so bad. That's what I always think of more than things like Dumb and Dumb and all that. But yeah, I find it harder to take it seriously now when he's uh, sort of the lead actor in this even though he does a perfectly fine role he doesn't really do anything special nobody does in this i think like as a review of the film overall i don't actually think it's a very good film in regards to like plot and story and keeping your interest but as far as the experience around spiders and the sort of terrifying nature of what what exists in other unknown parts of the world and what if that was brought to our part of the world that it you know it frightened me as a kid it doesn't now but i still feel uncomfortable watching it so Arachnophobia, what do you reckon? You got any thoughts on this one? You know what to do? Let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to see more content like this, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It is gratefully appreciated. You can find us over at gbhbl.com, our full website, where reviews, news, and so much more goes up daily. We're also on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, threads, at GBHBL. Just search for GBHBL and you will find us out there. We also have merchandise on sale. You can access the shop via the website.